Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is day 24 of my book of read and we'll be reading a thriller from last year. So I'll be reading All the Dead Lie Down by Kiwi McCauley. So this is came out last year. I don't know when exactly. Let me check. So it actually came on May 16, 2023. And that is actually one day before my mother's birthday. May 17 is my mom's birthday. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's see what's in the boat. The sleeping house is very much awake. Days after tragedy leaves Mam and Blith alone in the world, she receives a surprising invitation from Alice Lovelace, an acclaimed home of and childhood friend of Mammy's mother. Alice offers her a nanny position at Lovelace House, the family's ghost of Maine estate. Marine accepts and soon finds herself mining Alice's speculative goals. Thea buries her dolls one by one, hosting series of funerals, while Ren does everything in power to drive Marine away. Then Alice's eldest daughter returns home unexpectedly. Amy Hallowell is every bit of strangers and younger sisters, and yet Marine is quickly drawn in by Amy's compelling behavior and ethical grace. But as Marine's civil energy can't escape the anxiety that follows her like a shadow, then birds appear in Marine's room, the children Planks are escalate, something dangerous lurks in the woods, leaving regulated animals in its way. All is not well at Lovelace House, and Marine must unravel and sequence before they consume her. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. And yeah, so this is what it's about, but it kind of reminds me of Half and Salt so what? I don't know why, it just, it just does, like, they got that spooky element going out, they got strange things happening and all that fun stuff and not atmospheric the things like how most books ever existed <laughs> but regardless i'm excited for this so yeah and the first sentence is they regrouped in the library well first sentence of whatever chapter that was i should say or like you know you know what i mean <laughs> and so let's get reading oh we hate to um i should don't know what happened to the book. It's some around here, but um, so far I'm loving the book. It really reminds me of House of Salt and Soma. Like the same vibes, the weirdness, the creepiness. And honestly, it reminds me of the same book. I don't know what my book is, but that's okay. <laughs> so that, that's all of them lying down. I believe it's what's called. So. I really like it so far. Um, it does read fast. I don't mind the pacing. The characters seem to me okay. They are weird in their own way. So I'm kind of excited as to where this plot is going to take place. And yeah, we will see. So I'm just really excited for this book because I think I'm like giving it four stars actually. And so good things, Tom <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> finished the book. I think it's okay. I think only main point is the backstory of the whole book, of the whole book, I guess. Because they have mentioned like the towns and all that, so I kinda wish we had to explore that, but we didn't really do it. And also the pacing, I kinda find it quite weird at times, so something you'll notice because I get distracted, so and I also have to go back and reread what I read, cause, so I think the pacing is a little bit inconsistent. Um, the moments, I think it felt forced, and honestly, I didn't really need moments to me in there. So, and I just tried to figure out what's happening, and like, we have Evie, who's like, oh, I have disability, so then she tries to figure out what's gonna happen next, and all that stuff, so. I still think it's okay, but um, the pacing, it could still be worked on. I don't mind the writing, I think the writing is okay, I do like the imagery, descriptions, so on and so forth. I think they're all really nice, especially the atmospheric companies. 
and two really like the twins or like the children I don't know, like sometimes they were acting age and sometimes they were act like the teenagers so that was kind of weird it's like that you have two all of a sudden like two personalities for one reason that's how I feel like because they sometimes have teenagers and so on so that's kind of interesting um, but yeah, so it's so okay, I'm almost finished I think I'm actually gonna give it 3 stars there's something I didn't quite like, like the rock forest moments. It really felt forced. It really did. So I think the pacing could have also been better and just explored more of the backstory and the talents. And I kind of wish we explored more of the graveyard. So they seem to emphasize the graveyard a lot. But yeah, so those are my thoughts so far. I will still continue to read like the so PM. But yeah, anyways, I will complete this book as well, and I can't believe I almost done book read. It seems crazy. So, I hope you guys like this. Get ready for the last day of Halloween. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> also, I'm gonna show you something. Did you see that? white stuff. Honestly, who told them it can snow? Not just mood. <laughs> and so, but it's, they expect it to be melted because this week it will still be a little bit warm. So, it's not too cold yet to actually be snow. <sighs> it's just giving, hey, I'm coming up. <laughs> I'm fine. But anyways, um, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. But, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, hi okay, guys. So, I just got off at work. I literally just came home. It's like 4 30, something like that. So, I just finished the book. And I think I'll still give it 3 stars. But, um, I think the ending did kind of make it up for it. Because I did think, like, that pacing was a little bit lacking. And it was a little bit inconsistent. Um, as I said before, I kind of wish we explored like more of the places and not just the house itself. Although they did explore quite a bit in the graveyard towards the ending, so I'm kind of happy about that just because I think the graveyard um, is quite intriguing. So yeah, um, the characters were kind of done better. Marine kind of annoyed me. I think the only one that's well done was Amy in all honesty. I didn't mind her. Um, Amy's mom was something else, like, oh my god. And so, yeah, no, Alice can go bye bye. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was still a pretty enjoyable read. I didn't mind. I loved, like, how she, the author described, like, the imagery and the setting. So, it was definitely atmospheric. Um, I did enjoy it for the weirdness that it was. So, it's like, we have, we have Amy, and she's kind of have these powers. I don't want to spoil it. So the powers were quite interesting as well. So yeah, I, I did enjoy for the weirdness that it was, and I think it's, it was a quite an interesting book. So it definitely reminded me of House of Salt and Sour, which actually that's what it marked as. So yeah, I quite enjoyed it, but I will still give three stars because the characters could have been done better. The pacing was a little bit inconsistent. The romance, I, yeah, that was also another thing it should have not ne been needed. And honestly felt forced, so that's that. But, yeah, and again, like the lack of exploration of the town, I believe there was a town, so, yeah, all that stuff. But, um, yeah, otherwise, I did enjoy the magic and for what it was, so, yeah, but otherwise, I'm gonna end up this vlog. Um, I have completed a challenge, so that was all fun. But yeah, otherwise please like, comment, subscribe so you never know for every time I post and I will see you, I don't know, 4 day 24? 25? 4 day 25. <laughs> wow, I can't believe Halloween is almost here and Bookaween is almost done. I hope you guys enjoyed Bookaween like, for what it is, so yeah, I really had fun. I think this is my favorite one, but when I'm looking at the planner for my next year, I think it will top it off.
I think. So, fun stuff comes along your way for next year. I'm excited for it. I will see you then. Bye.